doing just fine. Time now to talk winners and losers on Wall Street. Financial expert Rob Black joins us this morning. And Rob, I got to tell you, looking at the markets, you got the NASDAQ off by 240 points, the Dow off by 564 at the mark at the moment. What's got Wall Street spooked? Um, persistent inflation. Mm. A lot of jobs are out there, job openings, which means you could jump from job to job and ask for more money. There's a looming recession. Long-term rates for bonds are lower than short-term rates are higher. Telling you that money, lots of money is saying, um, we're nervous about the long term. Um, and the short term of the recession is coming. So we want to kind of like lock in our gains. Um, Walmart gave some pretty poor guidance, um, as did Home Depot. Walmart had a great quarter. Home Depot, not so great. But the guidance was very iffy. Um, so we're still talking back half of the year, maybe a recession. But with all these jobs, it seems unlikely. Um, of note, there's inflation. If you're a spring break or college kid, the average flight round trip is now $264. That's up 20% from last year. That's inflation. Mm. It's up 5% pre-pandemic. And of note, I saw a really troubling statistic. 40% of all single family homes that are rentals yeah. will be owned by institutions by the year 2030. No. So the idea of our children buying a home, they're gonna compete with a lot of institutional money that are trying to get those homes and turn them into rentals. Investment companies gobbling up those houses. Speaking of houses, by the way, I see we got new home sales numbers for uh, January 12th. What, declined for the 12th straight month? Yeah, mm. um, this is something we need. It'll cut down on the housing inflation out there. So basically, we've now had 12 straight months of a decline in sales activity. That's down 36.9% year over year. That's a big number. That's mm. something that should be like, oh, it should shock you, especially if you're a real estate agent or a mortgage lender. The average home of all types of homes now goes for $359,000. That's up 1.3% year over year. Single family homes, the median is 363100 I should have said median instead of average and there's only 2.9 months of inventory so in of itself it's very bullish because what you have is not a lot of inventory um, if we were not to put any more houses on the market it would take 2.9 months to run out of homes last year at this time it was 1.6 and that's when we saw a lot of price inflation in homes so we need to get that number more to like six months of inventory to be more balanced uh, first time home buyers are just 31 percent of the market that should be more like 60 percent and again telling you high mortgage rates are hurting the average person man okay all right rock <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I feel like I just got, I just drank from a fire hose. That was so much information. I'm loving it. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to digest that as I'm good. still in the market for a house at some point. Okay, we're going to chat with you tomorrow. I uh, hope right. you had a good uh, holiday weekend. Tomorrow, uh, anything this week, by the way, in the last few seconds we have, what are you looking for this week to uh, move the needle? Anything? I might actually not be on um, this tomorrow because I'm going to go ski and I'm oh, taking a little time off my I kids' see. ski week, you know? Gotcha. Um, you know, again, it's just a down market right now, and we got way ahead of ourselves in January. Yeah. If we cool off in February, that'd be okay by me. Okay, good enough. And have fun up there in Tahoe. Spend good time with the kids. That's what it's all about. Uh, we got Rob with us this week later on, so send us your comments and questions. Facebook, Twitter, email them directly. Rob at robblack.com.